Maurice, you have two and a half minutes, please. Merci, Madame Shabbat. Um, I want to start with a series of questions for the minister with respect to the expectations that were set on the Canada Disability Benefit. Uh, the first is from the Liberal Party platform in 2021, quote, this new benefit will reduce poverty amongst persons with disabilities in the same manner as the Guaranteed Income Supplement and the Canada Child Benefit, end quote. Um, can the minister table to this committee the number of people that are expected to be raised above the poverty line by the Canada Disability Benefit? Uh, Mr. Chair, um, I think it's important, uh, again, to first and foremost recognize that as we... I have such lim limited April, time, Chair. I have such limited time. Can I just get an answer of whether it will be tabled or not? Mr. You can ask a question. A administrator will, can yeah, we're happy will it be tabled? To, yeah, we're happy to provide okay. that information to you. Thank you. Uh, Next, um, we've been told for many years uh, that lots of time is needed to consult with persons with disabilities on the Canada Disability Benefit. Uh, my concern is that there's nothing in what's being proposed that actually came from the disability community. And so I'd like for the minister to table a list of people and organizations that requested a benefit of $200 a month accessed only through the disability tax credit and not until July 2025. Will the minister table a list of people and organizations that asked for this? Uh, Mr. S uh, Mr. Chair, through you, if I may, uh, I think it's important to recognize since uh, the Canada Disability Benefit got roll ascent, we have been actively consulting with the disability community. So, Chair, I have I'm about 35 seconds left. Um, can I just ask the minister, will they or will they not table that list? Uh, Mr. Chair, that is information that is, I'm happy to provide to the honorable member. Thank you. Uh, my last question for the minister is Section 11F is an amendment that I was successful in getting added to the bill uh, that is now the Act that requires for regulations providing for an application process that is without barriers. Uh, what has been offered in, in Budget 2024 or, pro or proposed there is access to the Disability Tax Credit, uh, which is a 18-page application process uh, that is, has significant barriers attached to it. Is the minister aware of Section 11F in the bill that requires the benefit to be accessed barrier-free? Yes, I am. And Mr. Chair, if I may, I think it's important also to recognize in the budget we have put in significant amount of funding, particularly to ensure uh, that we make DTC, uh, the disability tax credit, barrier-free. We actually expect more people to apply for the DTC. We will, uh, and the funding in the budget is actually to ensure that we will pay for the DTC costs that have been, uh, that, that the, so the cost won't be to the individuals with disabilities. And there are also navigator supports that we have put forward that will help community organizations that are helping individuals with disabilities get that extra support. At the same time, ensuring we work with community members who have been doing this work at the forefront. There's been uh, the work Thank that's you, been happening. Thank you, Madam Minister. Mr. Maurice, uh, 